Hello, in this video I want to take a look at the basics of Easy Animator Pro and also the basics of your membership. Uh, so first thing I want to point out is in your member area here, you have probably looked at this, but if you haven't installed yet, you do need to, very important, get uh, Adobe Air. There's a video here that I go into this in more detail. Notice here that we've got a link to our Facebook page that's here. We're going to be uh, creating a group here shortly. And um, I do let you know about the pending updates here. Um, I haven't updated this. There's a few things here. Some of these things have already been done. So, for example, let's see the support for sizing as I show in the update that I posted on the Facebook page today, just a little while ago. I have a link here to the upgrade. Now, in this, I do recommend that you check this out because uh, this video here is um, showing you where we're going to be going, uh, what updates are not only coming uh, in the recent future, but also in Easy Animator 2, for example. So check that out. Now, every month I'm going to be putting a bonus uh, Power Vector Pack here, and this will like very commonly be used inside of tutorials um, such as this one. Uh, so then you have your download links. Now, we are having about 1% uh, of the people uh, downloading these having trouble with um, a PC, and it's about more like a 0.02% on the Mac uh, for the installers. And so we may have alternate installers here. There will be a growing list of tutorials here. Of course, as we know, um, as has been reported, uh, we our link here, uh, we miscalculated that. And the JV will actually be replaced with a Facebook link. So um, in terms of Easy Animator Pro itself, um, you do need to, after you install it, this is an Adobe Air app. So it's got, it doesn't have a virus. It is uh, it is not code signed though, so you may have a warning that says, you know, are you sure you want to open it? It's perfectly safe. There's really nothing in here. I want you to use this. I don't want to uh, get, you know, I don't want you to get a virus. So um, this really, once you've got it, you know, you install it now, you've got the import button up here. So you have a default image, but you can import a different graphic. I've created one in Easy Vector Editor. And I'm going to open that up here. Now I have a separate tutorial on uh, working with Easy Vector Editor and Easy Animator Pro, but you can import in here. Right now we support PNG and SWF. We're going to, we have uh, SVG again coming, and again I covered that in the preview. So uh, once you have whatever art that you want to animate, you have a series of options here. We have in, pause, and out, and these are tabs that you can click on. You can select a main type of animation here. Slide in is very a very, very basic one. It's not very exciting. So you, once you click here and you start to make these choices, it will start to animate automatically. I did the play here, but you can see it's looping. So um, I'm, I'm getting to see what I'm creating here. It's not very exciting, so let's go to overshoot, something a little bit more fun. It has a kind of a, a bouncy effect. Notice that it's kind of going over the stopping point and then coming back whereas bounce comes to the stopping point and bounces only backwards it doesn't overshoot whirl in does require that the zoom feature is on because it needs to have the, the ability to go you know zoom basically the effect doesn't really look very good without it uh, we have rotation options here we are working on a counterclockwise rotation option as well. This box will fill in over time as we add more animations and more uh, base animations. And this is duplicated on the out. You notice that are the arrows flip here. So it's pointing to the direction of where it's coming from and in. And then the, these are going to go out. So if I want to have this effect, uh, um, same thing, only have it leave, I can create that. So I'm having it come in from the left and leave to the right. Now we have a series of pause animations uh, in the upcoming versions. These will be buttons the same as these are. But for now, they're just text. And you have anything from a very subtle effect like rotoscope to something that's more exaggerated to really kind of. Now, these are designed to keep the attention. Now, typically, you might come in here and set this to a longer duration so that you know typically you're going to be talking this might be a point where you're making a certain uh, point in your video and you need this to kind of just linger there and but you want to keep their attention keep them engaged and so these animations allow you to do that and there's a series of animations now and we'll be adding to them of course 
So you can uh, change that duration here, or if you don't want to pause animation, you can turn it off. Same thing over here. You can turn it off if you don't want it. There's also a fade option, on or off, and so forth. So, um, and, and then, of course, you can, like I said, we can duplicate that on the out. Now, um, there are blank areas in this interface for a reason, because we are adding features here and here. Now, the, fe the, the things that are coming in this particular area here are going to be an Easy Animator Pro, uh, Pro uh, 2. I kind of combined Pro and 2 together. Uh, uh, Pro 2, and that's going to be here, and th that is going to be uh, something. I talk about that in one of the preview videos, so you can check that out. I just talked about that. Um, it's in this video on the Facebook page here. Right here, I talk about what's going to go there. And then we have something coming much sooner, and uh, in fact, the next update, and that's going to go right here. It's underlay animations and eventually overlay animations also. So these areas are not going to always be blank. There's always been an attention for really everything on the screen as much as we can get in here and still keep it easy and fun. So this is a, you base, all the basics of Easy Animator Pro. I do recommend that you check out our Facebook page on a regular basis. I'm pretty much posting almost every day, at least for a while. Uh, usually I'm telling you what's going on. Uh, like, you know, uh, this morning I, we, I got from the programmer the fact that we are now have sizing which is one of the top uh, things that we've been asked to add and uh, that's in in there now as I show in the preview video and I also recommend that you check here from time to time uh, we will be emailing out when uh, we've added new things and one last thing check here uh, in the tutorials and the power vector of a month every month check this out for example we are going to have a new power vector on uh, to in the first January, obviously, and the the old power vector links will stay here, though, so you'll be able to grab those anytime you want. All right, thank you very much.